Okay, Copper Gardens, we're going to take a look at an amazing um, recovery from a horrible mistake that I made on uh, Friday. I think the last time I showed you this gate, which you can clearly see now is tied off in my truck, uh, it was finished and ready to go. I notified the client and three other people in the San Francisco Bay Area that I was coming down. I was going to have a full day of a lot of things to do. And uh, I made it, well, let's see, here's my truck. I made it clear over to there before hitting a branch on that beautiful old pine tree that I should have taken down years ago. I didn't move over eight feet that way that I know to do. I've lived here for 20 years. You'd think I'd get it by now. And I destroyed the gates. I just destroyed not one panel that was broke, uh, destroyed the first time, but two of them. But the reason I'm showing this now, this is this will go up on YouTube, but it won't be very instructional. And I apologize for that, but it is informative to my client um, and to the amazing number of people that offered help and, and money and support. And oh my God, I have such a wonderful pack of friends. It literally brings a tear to my eye. But the, but the gate parts that were destroyed were in that upper crush zone, if you will. I didn't build it as a crush zone, as we now learn to do in cars and we learned to do in race cars 40 years ago. Um, but that's what crushed, that's what broke, that's what folded, not the main structure down in here. I couldn't really see that until I got it out of the truck. Uh, that was a, several hours after I had to get over a certain feeling of absolute insane stupidity. It's just the dumbest, I think it's the single worst accident that I've ever created for myself. Um, I predicted at the time that I had to do a complete rebuild of both gates costing me in the neighborhood of $20,000 worth of time and material. That was grossly over-exaggerated. But on the other hand, it's six days later. And what I'm really happy to report to myself as much as anybody, that in six days, I did a almost Herculean effort. I'm not bragging, but I'm telling you, I got into a mode that we used to do when I was 30-something, and my race car was two and a half weeks away from being ready for the racetrack and the race was in three days. And we made it. And we did that when we were 30 something because we were too stupid to know that we couldn't. And I did it now at 72 and a half <laughs> as though I were 30 something. And that energy came from friends and support and, and both, the, not only the client who owns the gate, but others that were going to be and are still affected uh, gave me so much slack, so much support, so much love that I'm just thankful more than I can imagine. So there they are, ready to go again. This is kind of an interim. I'm probably telling myself this story as much as I am anybody else. I'm writing a book. This will certainly be a good portion of a chapter, and uh, this will help me remember some of the uh, agony that we went through. Just tying it off in there. The first day that I tied it off to go the, uh, last week, it literally took all day. I had to build these various brackets and things that fit up to the bar in the back and oh my god it's a bunch of just crazy stuff. Of course today I had all that stuff pre-built and I was able to reuse it almost exactly the way I had originally designed it. So that was a huge time savings. So uh, speaking of time savings it's time to shut up and get off this thing and uh, notify everybody that I am indeed alive and coming back with a working gate tomorrow. That would be Thursday exactly a week later, seven days from when I re-destroyed it on that branch. By the way, I cut it off about 20 minutes into the ordeal. I looked at that branch and I said, where's the chainsaw? I know, in fact, there's still some firewood laying down there. That's, that's what that is. So anyway, I live in a perfect, great, wonderful place. I have a lot of great friends and clients and I'm a very lucky guy. That's my story for today. Thanks for looking. If, if you could wade through it again. Bye for now.